The end of the shuttle program is especially difficult for people like my next guest. Dr. Jeffrey Jones was a lead flight surgeon for the International Space Station and has worked closely with the astronauts. He joins me now by phone. Good morning, Dr. Jones. Good morning, Melissa. What are your thoughts today about this launch? It's certainly an historical one, the last one. I'm sure it's quite hard on you. Yes, it is. It's tough to see the shuttle go. It's been a bit so important part of our program. Tell us a little bit about your relationship with the astronauts when they're in space and, and how you help them. Well, the flight surgeons uh, work behind the scenes. We have a console at Mission Control, but we also are able to conduct what we call private medical conferences uh, with the crew. Uh, usually we do that every day with the shuttle crews and uh, take care of them, uh, uh, like I say, in, in the back rooms. Is there usually quite a bit of care that they will need throughout their missions? Uh, the short duration crews do very well and typically don't need a lot of care other than very early in the mission sometimes we we help them out with the space adaptation syndrome uh, but for the most mm -hmm. part they do very well on their own well it has to be a very good feeling for them to know that you're there to help them in case they were to have a problem there are so many speculations about what will happen to the space program now and your expertise what do you think will happen well you know the immediate future for for crewed space flight is somewhat uh, in question, I guess. Uh, we obviously are going to continue to operate the International Space Station, and that means uh, launching crews for Baikonur and Kazakhstan in the future after the shuttle retires to get to the space station. After that, I sure hope we get a mandate to go back to exploring uh, the solar system to go outside of lower Earth orbit to, to the moon, Mars, and other places. Mm -hmm. Well, it certainly sounds hopeful, at least. Now, you are currently a professor at the Baylor College of Medicine, also a Navy captain, just like Shuttle Commander Mark Kelly. What is your reaction to Gabrielle Gifford's recovery? Well, I am very impressed with her recovery. I've had the opportunity to care for a number of gunshot victims throughout my career, and I think her progress has been truly remarkable. I think it's a testament to her grit and determination as well as the power of love and prayer. When I was over at Tier Memorial Herman yesterday, they were saying that those usually are the two top things, personality, the person's drive to get better, and then also that family support. So you do think that those are two of the big drivers here of why she is doing so well? Absolutely key, absolutely. With the patients that you've seen in this situation, how about how long does it take them to, to get back home and to really just to, to get some normalcy back in their lives? Well, that's variable patient to patient. It depends on you know, the nature of their injury as well mm -hmm. as uh, you know, how quickly their body can recover. Um, I think that she's just made extremely uh, rapid recovery and, and her progress has been outstanding. Well, the country has been watching and certainly lending her a whole lot of prayers. Dr. Jeffrey Jones, great to talk to you this morning. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Take care.